Toronto System Open. Uh, once again, I'm Victor from BTTV Live, joined by my buddy Sumit. Hello, hello. Thank you all for joining us again. And chat, thank you for sticking with us and chatting it all up while you guys are waiting for the next round to start. We appreciate your patience, but now we are ready to rock and or roll. All right, so we scoured high and low for a list that didn't include veteran turret gunner, Y-Wing, or Skurg. <laughs> yep. We'll see how long that lasts. Uh, less and less probable as the day goes on, I would assume. Right. Uh, but, you know, we always aim for or strive for getting... When we when we put people on stream on this game, on our show, it's usually like we like to showcase cool players, people who have come in from out of town who are visiting us, uh, pillars of our communities, people flying something interesting. And as we get closer and closer to cut, you know, right. we're going to want to show more 4-in-1s, 3-in-1s, mm -hmm. people who are fighting for the chance to get into the top because that's also very, very interesting to us as well. All right, but in the meantime, we've got a bit of a minor celebrity on stream again. Sure. On the right side of the screen is uh, none other than Rathos. Those, those of you who obsess over building lists in X-Wing probably know who this guy is. Yep. He's a guy that is responsible for yet another Squadron Builder 2.0. Yep, he took, the, he took what was already functioning in 1.0 and built upon it and was allowed to provide the community with a place to build uh, lists uh, on an app that doesn't break every five minutes. So what's he bringing? He's got a resistance list, Poe Dameron. Poe Dramon, Lulo. You know what Lulo does? Can you bring that up, Lulo? Yeah, uh, Lulo's one of the us? interesting uh, RZ2s who does, does pretty awesome stuff. If this is the one I'm thinking of, this guy I been think a Lulo's the one that can stress butt. himself and uh, yeah. attack additionally. And um, Yeah, if he's stressed, rolled one extra attack die, it will one fewer. And you must roll one fewer one evade fewer die. Evade and die, yeah. RZ2s are quite easy to stress if you want to. They've got um, linked actions that allow them to stress themselves at their leisure. Anyway, yeah, that's Steven. And then we have Brett on the left side. Brett, uh, talk to him a little bit. He is a person that I think he said he mentioned um, he ended up making top eight at one of the system opens. Excellent. Of this season. That's awesome. He's uh, from Scranton, which is in Pennsylvania, I think. Oh, I don't know my Dunder Mifflin. Yeah. That's awesome. So, yeah, he says uh, his meta is not that big, so he's not part of a giant squadron like a PTL or a Minoc or something like that. But I, I'm a fan of his list. Uh, See, I've been well, very <laughs> interested in seeing this new version of Vader. When they, when they basically decided to make Supernaturals no longer in the game, um, we all assumed that hate would be the go-to option for all Force users. And, um, well, at least ones that could take it, obviously. Right. And, um, yeah, I mean, Darth Vader hate FCS. I love that's a great little 70-point 70, 70 ship. Talking about points adjustment, um, Vader dropped five points from what he used to be. He used to start at 70, came, comes in at 65 now. With hate and FCS, uh, it's, he's a even 70. That's a lot of ship for uh, a decent amount of points. Um, uh, always the right call, Sooner Fell, from my, as far as I'm concerned. He's always going to be the right call. Really? Um, he's a bit squishy, though, I don't these care. days. You Sooner know? Fell is always the right call for me. Doesn't Especially matter. in this kind of meta? Doesn't matter. Answer well, I mean, is always. It, it takes a lot of stones to run. No, no, what I'm trying to say anything. is I have a deep personal love for Sunafel. It's just, right. you know, it's always, I'm always going to be happy when he's on the table. I try to fly him as often as I can. I mean, yeah, it's absolutely squishier because he doesn't have auto thrusters and the Emperor and stealth device, but, you know, you look at it only being 52 points. He's your, in this list, Sunta is actually disposable. Is it? He's a 52-point ship that's going to be flanked. He's going to still have a great ability. He's incredibly maneuverable. But he's your least MOV ship point, so you just don't mind if he dies. And then Whisper with the new current um, post-point um, post adjustment standard build, as, build, as it were. Right. Uh, fifth Brother replacing the place that Vader used to take and Juke, which is stapled to her card. Um, and then Poe's rocking... Sorry, Steven's rocking his old faithful Poe, uh, running a uh, pretty interesting build he's got there. Heroic... BB-8, um, S-Foils, obviously, no reason not to take it. The black one. And the interesting change is he's got HLC on his Poe. That I find interesting. Um, I was talking to him briefly earlier on before he started playing his matches, and he was saying he was just trying to give his lists more teeth, and that's why he elected to drop the HLCs on them. And then uh, Nyan Nub as well, also rocking Heroic, Pattern Analyzer, and HLC as well to give his X-Wings a bit more weight or a bit more meat. Well, especially with the uh, the ability to to reposition with the T-70 X-Wings, I think Heavy Laser Cannon is uh, it's a reasonable choice. I mean, you're going to get people in their bullseye arc fairly often, I would imagine, especially with the PS6 uh, ship like Poe. Especially that has the, the BB-8 ability and all that other kind of stuff, plus the S-Foils on the... Actually, the S-Foils on the... Um, on the uh, T-70 might actually come into play as well because they are different than than the works on the... Uh, the one that gives them the barrel roll natively. 
Um, but so it looks like Brett is elected to um, set up in the bottom right board. Uh, rock placement's pretty spread out. This is going to favor a nice open engagement. And um, looks like Veda's flying sideways. He's Tokyo drifting over there, which <laughs> I got no problem with. A little bit <laughs> visually distracting. I was like, how did he do his loop? Oh, wait, that's right. He's, uh, he's just flying sideways. Yeah, so Steven's running an 11-point bid in this list because he was saying if he comes across any other Poe's or any other PS6's, his Poe has a harder time hacking it, which is why he felt like he wanted to have that bid as an option, and that's why he's gone so deep on the 11. Bidding is, is difficult in 2.0 now. It almost feels like if you want a bid, you have to start at 8 and go lower. Right. If, you're really, if it's important to you, you should actually be going even potentially even higher. Like, as in 10s, 11s, and 12s, if it's that intrinsic to your list. Because... I mean, if this is truly a 19-point bid, like they're saying in chat, I mean, that's... It's an 11-point bid. Sorry, 11-point bid. Yeah. If, if, that, if that's an 11-point bid, like they're saying, that's, uh, that's committing. <laughs> committing to a bid. Yeah. But as he's saying, he's, feel, he's feeling like it's integral to the way his list operates. He feels that his poke cannot be out, out PS'd or out initiative, whatever you want to call it. Right. Because... It's just not going to work for him. He also only has three ships. There's a lot of four and five ship lists out there. Uh, being able to move last, especially with the BB-8, especially with the Black One title, I guess it's very intrinsic to the way he wants to run this list. Brett's got a very customized. Uh, oh, I'm a f always a fan of, of someone there. who's got his own style when it comes to painting and stuff like that. Or or girl, oh, the, whoever the runs. Dials too. Look at yeah. the dials. Yeah, those are the uh, acrylic dials you can get That's online. It's like a Decepticon. Uh, I like it. I like his paint. Decepticon theme. I'm a fan of his paint his paint scheme. It's nice. So, Whisper Decloak, Whisper Decloak at the first round, and his templates match, everything. Let's come in with you. See, my problem is, is I always, I paint each one of my ships different because I get bored of them, so none of them look the same. I wanted to ask you very quickly, like, what do you think of the change of uh, Phantoms now having a gunner slot instead of a crew slot? I, I mean, they don't have a gunner slot. They have a fifth brother slot. It's okay. the only viable option they can take. It's, so, here's, uh, maybe it's a popular or unpopular opinion. They should have just made Vader medium or big base only. It was cool that the that the Phantom had the crew slot. Like Informant would have been an interesting choice. Um, you know, Hux or oh, it's not Hux. Sorry, um, what's it called? Um, Callus might have been an interesting choice. Like there were interesting crews. It's just there was never a crew you would ever take over Vader. So then right. that's the problem to fix. Not removing the slot. I, I don't know. They could put it back. Who knows? That's the great thing about the way 2.0 has been going, is that it's. It's able to, um, they're able to adjust yeah, the game you, as they see fit. They're not painting themselves into a corner. No, as they don't have to print new to, cards right? to take a slot off or put yeah. it back on again, for instance. And that's actually pretty great. They might bring it back. Again, personally, it's just a personal opinion. Um, I would have loved for them to have just done it medium or big base only. Right. Brett being a bit coy with his engagement here. I mean, there's no reason to not feel to. It out a bit. Makes Steven come to him. He's got very maneuverable ships. There's no need to start stressing anything. I mean, this is, this is a situation where the bid is actually going to come into play significantly, right? Like yeah. All these aces flying around. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing about Brett's list is really, really impressive. It's 665. Mm -hmm. That's a high initiative thing. And the chat's talking about how the Phantom actually has a gunner slot in the lore. Yeah, I, I, I un understood, but it has no gun. Like, there's no crew it can use. It can't take bombs. It doesn't have a rotatable arc. A veteran turret gunner won't do anything for it. It literally is Fifth Brother is the only option. And that's just to give it a force. Oh, look at this. Being a little bit ballsy with Poe. Dang lemon out Set, there. Setting up across from, uh, across from Brett's ships there. I wonder what, I wonder what uh, Steven's plan is with, uh, with Lulo here. Well, the A-Wing is incredibly fast. There's, you know, there's, there's easily four straight, you know, barrel roll and boost. And then she's got three dice. And then she's like in here, and she's or she can harass here. Um, it's a very fast ship. I mean, you got to do a three bank and then boost, and then a five straight next turn. Yep. There's a lot of option for an A wing. It covers the board very quickly if it wants to. And you know, N Nian's probably going to want to come up here. I think he's going to want to pincer with the HLCs. I feel like that's where he's looking for his engagement in this section, right? Because of the fact that Brett's staying behind that line, he wants to bring the HLCs to bear if possible. Now, HLC is going to be a little bit trickier to get on these incredibly wiry ships. Sutafel is very quick, hard to peg down. Whisper's incredibly hard to peg down. So I don't think that Steven's going to actively force HLC engagements or exchanges. I think it's a nice bonus if it happens. Um, I think he's going to probably rely on his primary dice a lot more. Steven casting a wide net. Yeah, 
Agreed. I mean, uh, generally, as you'll see with most players, as you start to play more and more X-Wing, you want to spend the first couple of turns to find out where your opponent is without having to commit. If you can leave your options open and available to you, uh, that's always a good choice. You don't no need to commit right away, and Brett's got nothing but the board in front of him. He can go literally anywhere. Um, however, with the way it's played, I mean, he could decloak Whisper there or there. Those are his really only two options. Strikers have gunner slots too with no real gunner slot at the moment. I completely agree with you, but strikers can at least carry bombs like they could in the thing, so they could take um, skilled bombardier, which I really want to try on them. Okay, so Whisper taking inside that. I wonder if Brett's going to open up his forces too and be like, hey, I can play in the open field just as well as you can, if not more, because he's got incredibly, incredibly well, it's, it's agile ships. a big playground for Whisper. Yeah. No rocks. Yeah. Yeah, that's... that's She's going to be very, very powerful in that area because there's like nothing for her to, to worry about in that area. So Lulo going to come out that direction. Interesting. I like that, though. I mean... You Don't can't, come in the obvious you can't area. ignore her. Yep. Uh, you know, you turn to face her, then what are you going to do with these guys? Yep. yep. Absolutely. And I mean, at range one, Lulu's throwing four dice if she's stressed. Or he. I don't know what the gender is or alien species. It doesn't matter. It's hard to keep track of them all. TLFJ 200, I completely agree with you. I don't think all slots need to be filled on ships. I'm actually really loving flying ships with as minimal upgrades as possible. And I'm absolutely in love with some of the tweaks that have happened with, like, Low, the low eye striker at 34 and the low eye interceptor at 34 naked is just absolute delight and blast of a ship. I think we'll see soon if a bearer will left. Yeah, okay. So it looks like Brett's deciding to, to go the left. I think he might leave Vader out there to flank. Yep. I think Brett might be trying to harass Stevens Poe with his Vader, saying, hey, we're both at I6. I've got hate. I've got target lock. I've got fire. You know, I've got own. Oh, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> maybe I just don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe he wants to pick off the other two ships and leave Poe for last while he still has Hull and all of his ships. I feel like that was a bit of a feint on Brett's part. Try to get uh, Steven to maybe... Commit uh, his Poe early? Yeah, commit Poe here, because who knows? Like, maybe we'll see when Steven reveals his dial. That's actually where Poe went. I mean, Steven... Oh, sorry, Brett can still completely commit to Steven's Poe next round anyways, right? Whisper can hard... Can 2D two, two, um, two cloak hard one that way. And right. then, you know, Soonerfell can be anywhere he wants, and then Vader has the hard two as well. So, yeah, he can still definitely decide to key in on Poe if he wants. So maybe this is Brett's gambit. Maybe this is his fake. And I like Steven going 1-4 with Poe here, playing very, yeah. very cagey. Very, very conservative move because it allowed him to basically react to what, uh, what Vader's move was. Yeah. Because he probably s suspected that he would cut off the joust and then go after... And that, uh, is, and, Neen and that is precisely why I think Steven has gone for such an aggressive bid on his Poe, because he needs that information to decide. To, Poe is his absolute crutch of his list. He's got to keep him alive. He's got to keep him safe. He's got to know when to and not to use his um, S-foil set setup, the Black 1 title. It's really important for him to have that bid. So we're getting pretty close to somebody having to commit on an engagement here. So I wonder if, Steve, if Brett's not going to decloak Whisper back in here and go 1-4 with her and not have to commit and then 1-4 with Vader and then 2-4 with Soonerfell as opposed to running her forward. Now, I don't know. He might be wanting to go aggressive with her. Um, with As people were saying in the chat, with Fifth Brother, she gets to keep her focus and her evade for her defensive option with Juke and Fifth Brother. She has a lot of offensive power with the Force mod and the Juking ability, so he could be a bit aggressive with Whisper. I highly doubt... Oh, okay. I was about to say I highly doubt he's going to run Whisper forward against two ships, but I don't know. Let's see, maybe he's going to decide to hard one, the one bank. That makes sense. So I think actually you're going to see then all of Brett's forces going to engage the two ships there. But with the way he put his whisper, I don't think he'd be well, yeah, man, divide plan. and conquer, right? Yeah. As long as Poe's uh, isolated, yeah. you take advantage of that situation. You might, even, you might even see Brett take Vader here and then run Soonerfell in there to bother Poe. I don't know. So Lulo being safe. So I wonder if he's going to try. I would... Oh, he's not going to. Oh, interesting. He just focused to stay there. Yeah, see, I feel like there I would have stressed myself to get the get the range two engagement against um, against Whisper with the extra attack die. But that's actually maybe going to be a bullseye arc. Oh, wow. Maybe. Hard to tell at the, yeah. at the angle that we're at. That's pretty big news if that's the case. We shall see. Vader continually Tokyo drifting his way forward. I think we'll probably <laughs> see a target lock pull onto Nen Nub there with the focus for a second action. Yeah, right. that's a great call. So that means that Nen, Nen is probably going to be Brett's focus here at this point. 
Also, well, I mean, it's a lot less slippery than uh, yep, Lulo is. Yeah, absolutely. And also a lot more of a problem. Like, I mean, Lulo can be a problem, but on its own, it's just an A-wing. So Soon's coming in there, and, and, and so I wonder if he's going to barrel roll Soon and fell left, or if he's going to just let him well, sit where he is. Barrel rolling looks like it would put him in a bullseye arc, which would get him that uh, focus token, right? Potentially. I don't know. I don't think so, actually, to be honest. I don't think it carries far enough. And the thing about Soonerfell is you don't want to force his ability if you don't have to, especially going for it at range three. Right. That's, it's, not, it's, it's not necessary. Mm -hmm. Now, if he's going after Poe with, I don't think he, we'll see. So he's, okay, there you go. He's auto-thrustering that way. So that allows Brett a hard that allows Brett a hard two to clear stress next round to go after Poe or two forward. Oh. So I, I also just realized you probably don't want to get into bullseye anyway because no. then you a get HLC HL seed without H without without auto thrusters without the extra evade die without the emperor. You don't want to do anything if you don't have to. This looks like a soft two. Um, no soft one. No soft one. Yeah, one forward. Ooh, now he's gonna have to boost here, I guess. I think so. No, just to focus. No, he's going to use Poe's ability to push oh, right. yep, yep. for the boost. Oh, he's going to use black one. Sorry, this was a BB-8. Oh, that was uh, the BB-8 boost, and right. that's his maneuver. And then he's using a focus token. Okay, there we go. Clearing stress. So Steven's going to probably bypass a lot of the various steps because he's got so many reps in with, with Poe. Right. He's going to go through the actions for his opponent to understand everything will be done legally. But this isn't his first game with Poe. He's probably got... As he was saying on the, on the OCX podcast yesterday, he's flown Poe exclusively for over a year. You know, th it's not like he doesn't know. So that, that makes sense. That's also some of the trickiness. And you can see how quickly Poe closed the distance as well with all of his different abilities. Okay. It uh, looks like uh, I think Sunterfell might be taking his shot first here. Yeah. Looks like it. Uh, yeah, Sunterfell is activating. He's not in bullseye. Yeah, I think you go after Nian. Oh, I think you got three ships on Nian. You absolutely do it. Uh, and that looks like... All right, so yeah, he yes. did roll out, out of the dice tray, but he's so just Brett asking in. if Brett asking Stephen if he wanted him to re-roll or just yeah. put his dice in there, uh, and Stephen saying, you know, you, the result is the result. You got it, you get it, you get to keep it, and then incorrectly deciding uh, to not spend the focus there for the. There's end. no reason not to. If yeah. he spends the focus, that might entice Stephen to shoot at Soonerfell and don't risk it. If you sure. don't have I mean, to. So easy for Soonerfell to get speared. I'm just saying. Well, I mean, oh, there you go. That's a delicious little result. And then fifth brother going to turn that to a crit for a triple crit. And that's a delicious result for Steven as well. He's going to take the one on the shield. That's a, that's a pretty good, uh, yeah. So here's Poe shooting at uh, probably Vader. I would imagine, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't He's spend the target, target lock. lock. Nope. I feel um, Steven's going to want to hold on to that target lock for a range one or an HLC shot. Right. It's not worth it for a range three against four dice with all the force that Vader's sitting on. Okay, so it's range two from Whisperer. Again, you can always measure all of your viable arc. Oh, he's going to shoot at Lulo. No, I think yeah, he's going to shoot. Yeah, just keep hammering on it. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I made a mistake. It was Vader who threw down triple crits. And fifth brother to turn a hit to a crit. So there is two blanks. Oh, Lulo using heroic three roll into double evades. Lulo showing how heroic they can be early on. So that was a double blank. Triggering heroic to reroll double evades. No, I think it was Dean Num that was being shot at. Who, yes, you're right, because otherwise right. it would have been triple evades. Yeah. And there's heroic. What a card for two points. What a card. It literally just paid for itself. He just got two free shield it's, all It's the upgrades. card Lone Wolf wants to be when it grows up. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, yeah, right? It's the card that Lone Wolf wish it cost. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so there's two. And you'll spend the focus there for sure. Just take that the one. That was firing back at uh, Whisper, right? Yep. So yeah. that's one shield I on. I think Lulo has a shot, right? Yep. Two dice shot here. Yep. Uh, and I spend the focus okay. for the one. Oh. And then Whisper handily evading that. Now, I do. I actually like this setup now by Steven. Because I think what Steven's going to do, he's going he's gonna to power past uh, Brett's entire formation, rotate his guns to the rear. He could, or if he assumes, so Brett's got uh, only two options really for his Whisper Decloak. He can go here, and then he could hard hard one her, right? Or he can go this way and keep her back cagey and then go one forward. But either way, she's this is probably the most logical option for her. And as you said, so Lulo could do a hard two, rotate rear, and have a range one shot on Whisper. 
Well, we're also getting into knife fight range, which is exactly where Neen wants to be. Oh, God, yeah, absolutely. Pattern Pass analyzer. Off the stress. Absolutely. You can just start talon rolling every turn. Yeah, and absolutely. And that's what it's <laughs> going to get. And then, you know, the X-Wings all become four attack dice. But then again, you know, all of Brett's ships are also going to be four attack dice. This is going to be a very punchy round. I mean, I almost assume Vader's going to go one forward and Jakar get the range one on Nien. Yep. But if Nien knows that, maybe Steven does something tricky using, I don't know. I'm excited about this matchup. I'm excited about this round. So Rose now, Squadron see, Ace is saying that Brett's entire forces are going to turn in on Poe, leaving its flank exposed to the other two ships. It's daring. Um, it's potentially an option, but it might be a bit difficult. It, it, that's risky, though, right? Yeah. Especially if Poe's going after your entire team. Well, I mean, Vader would have a hard time going after Poe. He would have to hard two, which would put him there. Then he has the barrel roll. Yeah, right. that would be fine. Then Soonerfell can hard well. Soonerfell can't hard one because he's stressed. So he could hard two. I don't know. We'll see. It's been a while since I've flown a high skill list, so uh, forgive me if my calls are off. And remember, Poe has that black one. He can always bail if uh, he, he doesn't gets look into good. A he's box, just right? GTFO. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, black one's the one where you, um, you have one slam. charge and it's you get slam. to slam. And you get to take yeah. an action after it. So basically, but it it's a procs great panic button. It procs <laughs> really well with. Oh, that hard one is moving out of. Oh no, because Lulo's PS5. Okay, so and so Stevens also got gets to see. Yep. Where, and if he called that, he's going to. He's going to bank. You're right. Okay, that's interesting. Now you, oh, now you see. I I lost the. My bad. That's all my fault. So. So here's Steven beautifully calling that Whisper D cloak. He did a 4K using what? Pattern Analyzer to barrel roll. Going to pass the stress off on the Whisper. No, it, it doesn't be able to pass it action. off. I think it just it removes it. It removes the stress? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, that'd be ridiculous. It's like oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. No, four no, lob on steroids. And now he's going to have a range one <laughs> shot on Whisper with a focus, target lock. Did he dodge the arc too? Uh, no, he's got range one on Whisper. No, but did uh, did he dodge Whisper's front arc? Doesn't no. look like no, it. No, he's still got Whisper still got his Nyan right. Nub in range one. Um, yeah, does I don't, she... Steven just said whoops on camera. So. Oh, he blocked his own. <laughs> oh, no. He blocked his own Lilo. <laughs> oh, that would have been so good if you would have been able to get that off. So if he had moved Lilo first, she could have rotated, had range one on Whisper, but then, but then, um, Nien would not have been able to do that barrel roll. So I guess right. he decided to take the four attack die instead of the three. Yep. And I can't, I can't fault him if that was the wrong choice he, or not. And uh, Nien does have a target lock on Whisper, right? Uh, he took target lock for his action, yeah. Right, yeah. And he has focus as so well. So you have a modded attack in that case, like a super modded attack with a focus and the target lock. Yeah. Yeah, I've I've had the uh, I've had the misfortune of playing against uh, a Neen Numb with a pattern analyzer before. It's so frustrating. Oh, even it's if, so annoying. Even if you're going after it. It's a great little ship. It's great to it's great and and as you said, this is exactly where he wants to be. K yeah. turning and talon rolling and hard one and hard two and doing all that. Now look at this. Things. This was a slight miscalculation by Brett here powering forward. I think maybe he expected He might have expected a one forward. He yeah, wanted to be able to arc me. dodge. And then Vader's gonna be able to slam into Nyan Nub. He's gonna barrel roll, I think, to the left. I feel there's no reason not to. His target lock's there. I focus barrel roll with the force. Well he might he might already have arc, but it's hard to tell whether that's range one. No, he or wants not. that range one with the yeah. advanced targeting computer. He desperately wants that. That's a great, still a great setup. He's got two range ones on Steven's Nien. Uh, this is nasty. Lulo is going to be throwing unmodded dice at Vader. Um, this is still a very, very good setup. Very good turn for Brett as well. Poe, however, is going to have to come far in. So I bet you Steve's going to probably have to use a BB 8 charge here. Yeah, it really uh, depends on how aggressive now. he was with that maneuver. I mean,. He, he could potentially get an HLC shot on Whisper if he did a... Yeah, well, his target lock's on Vader, so I think he wants to put it on a Vader. If he did a three bank... Two bank. Two yeah. bank. No, I, I don't know. I don't think that's a bullseye. It's not a bullseye on Vader. It's a bullseye on Whisper if he gets range on her. But again, Steven is a cautious player. Yep. He's not. He's a patient player. I wouldn't say cautious. He's a patient player. So you're saying that the HLC is more of like an opportunistic upgrade. See, that's the thing. HLC, if you if you're if you if you if you're aggressive about 
rocking right. it, it's a trap, in my opinion. You want it to be a bonus. You don't want to force it, especially on a small base ship. If you start getting hungry with barrel rolling out of position just so you can get it, you're not going to get it. Right. So that was Vader's range one shot. Advanced targeting Ooh. computer for just the one. He's going to spend the lock, which makes a lot of sense. A little bit anemic, but there we right. go. The reroll gets three hits. Yep. And, oh. you know, Nian Num <laughs> says, Abri blah, 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 oop. And it's fine. Nian Num not having it. I thought it was Vader who was supposed to have the force powers, not Nian right? Num. Hey, well, he was badass. He, he got them out of the Death Star before it exploded, so. <laughs> He's the only one that made it <laughs> all the way through. Seven, six movies. Five, seven, I don't even know. I don't keep track of where there's all shit. I don't, take, I don't keep track. All right, so now we're going to see Poe's turn. So Poe is electing to shoot range three on Vader because he doesn't have arc. He's not going to bother with shooting on Soonerfell. And that's two. Two or three hits. It's hard to tell. Oh, okay. he's spending the lock. for. He's going to yeah, definitely spend well. the focus for three hits on Vader. Okay. Not bad. But Vader's a slippery one. Yeah. 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 I guess he was trying to strip the no focus joy. for... Trying to strip the focus for the Lulo shot, potentially. So Whisper's going to be first. Range one. Uh, oh, yeah. Look at that money. Mm. She's going to probably just spend fifth. Oh, going for it. I like the aggressiveness. <laughs> Well, someone Juke checks Steven's it. dice. Juke flips it. He spends the focus. Yep. Only takes two. So, I mean, me personally, I like that call from Brad as well. I'm pretty aggressive. I would have done the same thing. He assumes he's got his evade token if he needs to bail out. Yeah. He's also got a force token to mod his defense. He's only going to get two defense dice anyways. Especially if you're outbid. If you have, like, a shot like that, you got to take it. And now he gets the damage. So he's going to have two evades anyways. He can spend evade focus for double evade damage. Right. And he's still going to have an evade to decloak next round. So he'll definitely spend the lock there. And then Whisper will easily evade that, take zero damage, and uh, there you go. Not sure why. Why he only oh, rolled three because dice his, there? because his, um, I got it. So Steven had to close his S uh, foils, right. enabled okay. him to pattern analyze yeah. with the because the T seventy S foil you has a link to focus into a barrel roll, I believe. Yeah. And that's what he did there. Right. And then pattern, with Pattern Analyzer and then Nenum's ability gave off the stress. And that's why he only rolled three attack die because he was not in a bear, bullseye arc. All right. The chat resoundingly, everybody getting a turn, close foils. Awesome. Thanks for having our back. Chat, we appreciate it. So Nenum's still sitting on only two shields down for all of that range one attack. I'm happy about that if I'm Steven. He got out of that kill box fairly oh, lucky. I obviously did not get that right. Never mind. He took a hull breach. Okay. He did not get out of that lucky. He took a hull <laughs> breach. <laughs> it is possible the foils might have been closed. Thank you, chat. We're not sure. We might have to check the, t the game state, but the foils might have been closed. I know. We're joking. He's got the token on there. I think I bought some of those. I don't know why I don't have them yet. Those are very useful. I got them. I, mean, I thought I ordered them. I, I, I could I never. Re I would never be able to remember to flip the card. Flipping over cards, itself, I can never yeah. remember to do. I'm always doing it wrong. So what I normally do is I just put like a force token right. on the table beside the ship. I know it's messy, but I like to see my tokens on the ground. It helps me see it more. Death Rings blog is asking how useful is hate on Vader. Uh, the prevailing situation among most people running it is m much more useful than a five thousand point supernatural reflex. Um, it keeps him very, very lean. He's got three force. It allows you to spend force with impunity. It lets you be way more aggressive with Vader. He's only 70 points now because of his point reduction. I mean, I feel like hate on Vader and Kylo is the way to go. I haven't had a chance to try either of them, but it looks like it's a great option. Absolutely, as Mars Mike Beer said, is, I mean, for three points, I mean, why wouldn't you? Uh, people are saying precise shot or predictive shot might be really great too, but I feel like... Again, at three points, why wouldn't you? He's got three force. He has two shields. You know, you could be more aggressive on offense and defense. If you get bumped, it's potential get out of jail free card. Sometimes Super Natty Vader felt starved for force sometimes because you were always spending force. Because you want to use his ability, right? So you're always going to spend one force on Vader. Right. And then if you make a bad call and you spend your ab abilities to move a target lock and barrel roll, at least that lets you spend another force for a soft mod. And then if you take a damage, you get that force back right away for next round. You're back up to three. So... Um, again, for three points, I think it's worth using. Brett's found his Whisper in a bit of an awkward situation. I can't tell if he's cloaked or not. Uh, he did have the evade to spend. Yeah. He might have decided to not cloak her. I if he did, the, he... Yeah, there uh, we go. Oh, no, he does. Okay. So there's only there's two options. He cloaks forward or he cloaks back this way, and then one banks, one banks in. I think... 
I think I would probably cloak forward that cloak that way, and then. Ooh, that's dangerous. That's dicey. That's a block. Then mm. uh, I think he's cloaking, decloaking forward. If anywhere, I mean that whisper's moving first anyway. So yeah. Well, he, he can exactly he can what. fit the decloak and a right. one bank, if that's what he decides. Well, step number dip. one is indeed uh, decloaking to his right. I'm absolutely like addicted to drawing yeah. on the screen. Sorry, guys. I kind of feel like you're John Madden. You know, you're like. Yeah. Yeah, I really do. Things on the screen. Exactly. So what you're gonna do is, uh, you're gonna <laughs> go here, and then you're gonna football, and then you're gonna football, and that's how it's done. You have to make very obvious statements, though. Yeah, that's exactly. You, that's so what he's gonna do is yeah. he's gonna take a maneuver that his ship can do, yeah. and he's gonna execute that maneuver. That's right. He's gonna reveal his dial, and then <laughs> he's, gonna, he's, he's gonna reveal his dial, exactly. and he's gonna put the template down exactly. in front of the ship, and then he's probably gonna do an action. <laughs> what that action will be? Well, I don't know. Um. Yeah, so this is where having initiative or not having initiative is very tasty for Steven. He's got a lot of option. All of his ships are moving after all of those ships. Ooh, that looks like it might be a bump. Ooh. Ah. Tokyo Drift oh, if that, is If away, that I mean. clears, that's a really nice move. Now, of course, if that was the best Phantom, Echo would have been a different story. Ooh, that might fit. What's Tim's favorite phase? Everybody clench! Yeah. So we're just gonna... Oh no, it doesn't look like it. I mean, when you train tracking, that means... It does not... Bump. Yeah. It does not fit. So that that Mr. actually Mr. might Mr. Matt, not be... Mr. Mad Genius Murray, trying to be very precise You know, with this that might not actually be that bad, because you may have just inadvertently bumped to Lulo as well. Yeah, you're gonna get your evade, you're you still gonna have a force. Like that. It really depends on what um, I mean. What this Enum actually ended up doing. this might have been the move that Brett was going for. He might hope for the bump. Yeah, as uh, Death Revive nineteen ninety one po points out, and he's got an arc. She's got arc on Pono. I think that might have been Brett's desired maneuver. Sitting there is quite nice. It's a shame. I, I don't know if Sunter is going to get any shots this turn though. Uh, he could force it with a hard one ship right boost barrel barrel boost, which is excessive. It's not hard. really worth it. He's better off. You know, two banking or three banking and yeah. coming around. He's got no I need. Mean, but that's the thing, right? He's like, Suntir only got one shot off so far this game. Yeah. He's kind of been sort of useless. And Brett's been lucky enough that Steven hasn't really been able to land anything solid on any of his ships just yet. Well, right now, Brett's taking one damage, I think, on his Darth Vader. That's all he's got. And uh, he's already got. Ha has he even taken one I damage? I don't know. I thought he took damage last round. Yeah, he should have taken damage from Vader. I might be wrong, but I thought... Yeah, um, producer Travis is going to go check. Okay. He might have spent everything to evade everything. Oh, here comes oh. the Talonol that everybody called. All right. Let's, let's see if he indeed makes oh, it. Oh, it makes it? Does it? Oh, oh that's spicy. <laughs> that's sexy. Steven, I'm going to wow. open must kiss you. That was beautiful. So is he going to open... He did open foils. Uh, right now, that might even be an HLC shot on Whisper. No, I don't think so. The bull's bullseye is definitely not in. Uh, and he can't fit the barrel roll to nab it. Uh, oh, okay. Well, now that's an Vader? HLC shot. <laughs> now it's an HLC shot. But it's also a four dice primary. Oh, that is such a good move. Knee numb. Knee numb. Putting Sunter fell to shame. I'm and curious what what he did with Lulo. Yeah, no, he's technically oh, in Oh, look at this kill box. If he makes this move, he switches his guns to the back, gets a focus target lock. Yep. Well, actually, I don't know if you want to do that. That's going to reduce your... Uh, oh, you absolutely want to do it. Do? No, yeah. you absolutely want to do okay. it. Okay. He's absolutely doing it. He's going to focus and link to turn back for a stress, and that's going to be three di four dice. Because remember, he might get... And at this point, you can kill... If I would trade Lulo for Whisper in a heartbeat. Right, because, I mean, if he did block Vader, then he, the Vader's going to get Because he's not going to shoot at Lulo, because his Vader, his Whisper has to put her damage into, into Nenum. Nenum. Well, if, if, Vader, if Vader got blocked here, then he's not going to be able to shoot at Nenum with Vader. He's That's, also true. Shoot That's also true. That's also true. Lulo. Yeah, so there's that delicious sloop that the Interceptors finally got. Uh, he's deciding... So what is so, it? This looks like so a... Cam's just asking that both the players, if he mind, if they mind it, if he eyeballed. Okay. Both players said, no, we do not mind. Right. And so there's the thing. Uh, that's Cam's hands there. That's yeah. one of the so judges today. So what will end up happening is based on the train tracks back, it would be a straight maneuver instead of any curve, and that's why Cam asked if that was okay. 
Uh, we got we got some quality judging going on over here on, on the top table down right now. And here comes Poe. Does he BB-8? Yes, he's going to barrel roll. Is he barrel rolling? Yeah, he's barrel rolling two straighting for an HLC into Vader. Ooh. And then he's going to use Poe's ability for a target lock focus. Or he might just go two forward and be in range one anyways. It won't matter. Oh, he did a one straight? Yeah, so he'll definitely target lock focus with Poe's right. ability. HLC on a tokenless Vader. This is where we're going to find out if hate is good on Vader or not. Oh, he's going to go after Whisper. Well, yeah, I mean, you have uh, three shots now. Killer. Oh, she's like, full health. Duh. Yeah, right. no, that's I the right mean, call. You, you, you have an opportunity to just delete that no, shit that's the right the board call. right now. That's the right call. He's checking for... Sunafel's uh, checking for Sunafel's ability. Yep. I believe I it's going to proc... It. Yeah, it's going to yep. proc off Lulo. Mm -mm -mm. So who do you shoot with first? Uh, well, Vader's only shot is Lulo. Yeah, I mean, Sunafel... I guess, I mean, you're going to have to take this trade. You're going to have to take the Lilo for... I take the Sunafel shot. Trade. I take. Yeah, this makes the most yeah. sense. I take the Sunafel shot... Onto 10 nub. So it looks like he's activating sooner fell. I shoot at, you know what, honestly, I shoot at 10 nub personally mm -hmm. because I want to keep, I want to keep, well, I guess it doesn't actually matter because Whispered has no offensive mods. She has only her fourth. He's probably going to keep that for defense. Yeah, so yeah, sooner fell in the end. Nub here. here we go. Yeah, sooner into the end. Absolutely was the right call and then definitely spend that focus. Absolutely do that. Mm. And Nian <laughs> takes it. Really? He takes it. He oh, takes Oh, it's a crit. He's got to focus. Right, right. Yeah, it's a crit. He's got to focus. Yep. It's unfortunate. He's got to focus. Oh, right. Hull breach. You're right. Good call. Good call, team. Oh, yeah, that's right. He has Hull breach. All the damage is face up anyways. Ooh, maximum disrespect from Lulo. Chat's making a good point. I would have held on to the focus because... Everything's a crit anyways. Right. You know what probably, Chet? Steven was probably hoping to not draw a direct hit or a um, anything else that would kill, that would PS kill his Nien. So here's the HLC shot. Focus, Focus for target lock. Yep. Into Whisper. Yeah, they're just double checking, making sure that's bullseye and in range. So what's happening is Steven declared it, but the Focus token, with the, but forgot to uh, put the target down. Spending fifth brother's yep. force token, I yep. think. Yep, so yeah. Whisper's taking uh, hit crit. Okay. The work has begun. Oh, she's got two shields down. All right, now Ooh, here, that's here's delicious. Whisper, yeah. I mean, if there you can trade. Is. Oh, there we go. His finally. luck can't hold out forever. Oh, heroic. Okay. What is heroic <laughs> proc with nothing? It makes no difference. Yeah, the, the, focus, got, the focus got spent. And there you go. Two eyeballs. So you now, can't heroic back to back, unfortunately. No. So but, but, the end's dead. At PS5, though, he does get the shot back, so he may yep. be able to get the trade here. But, you know, getting getting Nienov off the table. So Nien's going to take three crits. Yep. So what Steven's really hoping for is that one of them is not going to be a direct hit or a blinded. Right. Well, actually, wait, blinded's changed in this game, right? No, what is it uh, something primary weapon system failure or something? Oh, the rocker, crocker, thanks. You can't heroic on eyeballs anyways. You're right, it's blanks only. There you go. So range one into exploding Nien as he ejects on the way out for a hit crit. What do you got, Whisper? She's going to have to spend that evade and not be able to decloak next round or take the double. Yep. So yeah, she's yeah. got no decloak next round. And she's just going to take the crit, which was... Blinded pilot. Blinded pilot. Which is very unfair, which sucks. Um, and there's Lulo's shot. And then for three. And that's a dead whisper. Crunch. So that costs Steven his Nien. Um, he's got full health pull with one charge left of BB-8. What do you think of that trade? I mean, Nien's a big gun, but Lulo is an X-Wing at range one. She's right. A, she's, and she's always going to be able to stress herself. Um, I mean, that was very much the ship he wanted to get off. Now, Darth is super, super, super squiggly still. So, Eric Zahn saying that that was a bad trade. In whose favor? Hey, Eric Zahn. Oh, Lulo is a he? Ah, thank you. So, chat saying you guys think they would rather have swapped Vader than Whisper. Hard to say, hard to say. They're both very good. I think I might be more scared of the Juke and Decloak options than I would be of the Vader. They're rel relativistically same point cost. Um, Vader without the Super Natty is a little more linear. Um, no engine upgrade without 
at all, so only the barrel rolls, so I don't know. It's a tough choice. Um, the HLC fi shot was not into Vader, it was into Whisper, Imagine Imagineering Man. So Eric Zahn says bad trade in Steven's favor. Poe wins any 1v1 with... Well, yeah, um, especially with the initiative. Uh, absolutely, especially with push <laughs> the limit, absolutely. But that's why Steven has a 6.11 point bid. Is if it gets down to 1v1 one, one right. one with the other I6, I6s, Poe cannot survive. He's got to... So what's Steven's next target here? You think it's... Uh, Vader. Vader, yeah. I mean... Vader's super slippery, though. I feel like you just take out Sooner Fell first. Sooner, sooner I, for me, sooner, sooner is the sooner's trap. Sooner's a red herring? Sooner's a trap. Yeah. Yes, he's 52 points. If you bump him, shoot at him. Right. If he's got tokens, why are you going to spend time? Remember, he can still boost and barrel roll. He can still, he can still evade auto thrusters into a boost and, you know, pull his thing. Yeah, so that'll be a stress on Lulo with her dice. Yeah, that's a good choice. That blocks his two, two straight. As the chat is also saying, Vader is actually easier to kill than Soonerfell is. Um, he has more points. He is tankier. He can do more damage, but, you know. Doesn't have the same, quite the same dial as an Interceptor, right? No, it's, uh, no, exactly. It's a lot less Soon, Soons might have lost his godlike status with auto thrusters being gone from the game and nobody really flying the Emperor anymore. Mm -hmm. But he still has the same dial he always had. Whoa. He still has evade action. He still has focus action. He still has auto thrusters into a boost barrel roll. But Samit, I mean, speaking of a bump, I mean, this may be... He clears. He might clear. It is a bump. Oh. Okay, so if he bumps him, this is where you... This is where you blow... Potentially blow the wad and use black one, get a target lock focus HLC shot on the Soonerfell. Right, yeah. Well, you want to stay out of his bullseye. You don't want to give him that focus token. Mm, that's true. But you can get bullseye on him without being in his bullseye. Right. In fact, a hard two from Poe actually gives him bullseye. And I feel like uh, I feel like that that is indeed what Steven's plan is. If he did that move with Lulo, uh, you know, confident that he was going to block Suntir's move And he there. still gets a range, potential range one shot into Vader with three or four attack dice. So Vader can't afford to barrel roll forward for a range one right. without giving his Lulo a range one. Actually, a barrel roll ship left can't clear on the rock. So I think he just target locks and forces for a focus. Yeah, so the chat also pointing out that even though Lulo does lose one of die, it's almost, it's very, very difficult to kill her, him, sorry, him, in one shot well, the, if, with a focus. The downside of Lulo is actually an upside if you have heroic. Absolutely. Right? Heroic and Lulo is a phenomenal, that 41 points, that is an exceptionally <laughs> good build. Yeah, like that's a great build. So it looks like I think Brett's, Brett's trying to do block. a block himself, yeah. I like it. I have to, I like that move. Well, you got to protect that Sunter fell, right? Yeah. Ooh, As, soft one. Again, I told you, Steven is a cautious player. He's not a, sorry, he's a patient player. He never rushes anything. Yeah, there's just, like, there's so much, um, there's there's such an allure to, like, try to be aggressive, especially when you think you have someone, but well, but that was you also exactly got to think it. about the following So this is why, again, up. this is why I normally 0-3 and commentate, because right. I would have gone for that, knowing I was going for the block, I would have done something stupid with my pull, yep. and then I would have given a range one shot to Vader. Steven, knowing that, isn't forcing right. it. He's not forcing it. So I think this was a... He's taking one hit on Lulo. One damage on Lulo. Okay. It must have been a range three. Oh, that must have been Sooner fell into yep. Poe. Sooner fell into Poe. Uh, I definitely take that one. And then, and then Vader that's Vader. into Lulo, I think. Uh, yeah, so advanced targeting computer for hit crit. Is yep. he going to spend a force? He's spending a force. Yeah. Uh, here's a situation where um, hate is good. He's electing to spend a force. He knows he's taking damage this right. round. He absolutely mods your dice. You have a focus and a force. So there goes Poe and Vader. Oh, spending a lock. Yeah. Uh, well, Focus for four. One guaranteed damage at least. Yep. If any, if there was ever a time to roll blanks. So okay. that you focus. Two damage. And then you're going to get back one damage from, yep. you get back two forces from hate. And now Vader's back up to full force. Shields down though. Yes, shields down. Pretty good exchange. And now here comes Lulo. So range two, so it'll be three dice for Lulo. She'll have, he'll have focus. Doesn't need the focus with two hits. Vader is going to oh, yeah. spend, spend a force, force that he here. got back from yep. hate. 
So, chat, I think we've seen Vader with hate is good. Because <laughs> yeah, that I was, mean, <clears throat> it procced two well, times that round. Vader. That would have been a one hull uh, Vader with, yeah. well, not without hate. I mean, he would have, been a, he would have had a lot less resources. But then he would have been incredibly time. forced starved. 31 minutes. Right. 31. 31. He would have been incredibly forced starved as opposed to now, he's sitting on three fourths again. I think almost he, I mean, I mean, the downside is you have to take damage to proc it, but Vader has stress because the linked action barrel roll into a focus from last round. Yeah. Man, it is very so cold what, in what our corner think, of this. What do you think? Lulo's going to come around the rock, perhaps? Mm, yeah, if the, A-Wings, the, the, R2, maybe boost, turn the arc around, turn the arc around to forward. Or maybe just one forward bump and sit there. It's still a range one shot. Right. You get a free shot on Soonerfell. Um, I think this might be a black one slam. I think Steven is not going to want to put Poe, especially with three shields down. He sacrificed a lot. So that was actually an uh, uh, unsatisfactory result, I think, for Steven, to be honest with you, because he took right. three shields on his Poe for only two shields on Brett's uh, Vader. Yo, he took a... Oh, that's how that worked out. Okay. Okay, that makes a bit more sense to me now. Okay. All right. I was a bit, was a little confused there. Now I'm a little less confused. So that'll be a stress clearing maneuver. Um, I think you keep the rear arc facing backwards still. I think you just focus. For sure. No need, the stress doesn't do anything for you here. Now, I guess, you know what? No, the oh, hard to clearing stress is gonna boost. Okay. He's gonna rotate his guns back to the front. No, no, no. he's boosting. No. Stay. What are you going to do, Vader? Soft one. <laughs> yeah, Vader. The Steven's only like, all right, enough Tokyo drifting. <laughs> I need yeah. to know which way he's facing. Yeah. Um, that's a great move. That's a good move. He's going to link for a focus. He is not linking for a focus. Yeah. Okay. You know, keeping keeping Lulo in his sights, taking advantage of that reduced uh, agility dice because of the stress. Yeah. Maybe Sunterfell going in for another block here, giving uh, Vader some reprieve to shoot at Lilo. I think Steven's perfectly fine with that bump, to be honest with you. Well, I mean, the problem is now... He clears Poe's his not, stress. Right, but Poe's not getting a shot this turn. So uh, it's one shot on an A-wing through four dice. Range three through a rock, and she and he, Lulo has a focus. Vader doesn't have a target lock on Lulo. That's fine. Is that range three? Ooh, you're right. Actually, it might be range two. Range two obstructed. Okay. Unmodded versus unmodded. Well, he's got the force. Yep. But I would be... No, he, he's been he the force have a for focus one. token there. No, okay. he can't. Nope. He didn't link. Okay. Unless he linked, then he should have a stress. I'm confused what's going on. Vader should have stress then. Oh, he barrel rolled and used his force. Yeah, he used force to get the extra ability. Console fire. Oh, you're right. He has a lock. That's that black one. Okay, okay. Thanks, everyone. He has the lock. That black lock is Vader's lock. Right. Okay. Barrel roll, force for focus. I got it. So options are very limited now for Vader. We've got the one bank. Uh, maybe a three forward or two bank, or you can hard two to the left and try to All block All of those po. take him over the rock, though, I mean. No, I mean, one bank that way. Okay. Uh, three four would put him there, probably a clear. Two bank, hard two. Like, he's got options. This is where Steven could probably call some of those in 4K, pull right there. Wow, I mean, I'm, I'm going to go on. I'm not in love with those gigantic, gargantuan focus and lock tokens. I know you guys love them. They're great for streams. Uh, I don't want to. So I don't want to steal Dion's thunder though with those so giant big. tokens. They're so no, they're, big. they're good. I don't like yeah, them. Like they're them. obnoxiously large. It's like those things are like fox track for hockey pucks. We don't need the help. We just got to be better <laughs> at it. <laughs> <laughs> and then five years later, when you're looking at like right? those old fox track <laughs> hockey games, like what were we thinking? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh yeah, chat. You guys are all smarter than I am. You're right. He still has a che he still has a charge of BB8, which means he can barrel roll one bank, which is the old BB8 special with Poe back in the day. You're 100% right. Uh Bo I, I Poe should have one BB8 charge left. Fighting robots in the commercial break. That would be awesome. Mm -mm. So, 5 forward clear stress. 
Don't forget to carry your target lock with you. Uh, you just focus and sit on it. Yeah. Yeah, you just focus. Let him chase. Yeah. See if you got to put those tokens down, bud. All right, what are you doing, Sinterfell? Hard three. Yeah, you're going to chase down. Yeah. Yeah, chase down Lulo. Why not? You know, dun, 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 foul. 24 minutes on the clock, dun, you kill dun, Lulo, dun, and then you, uh, dun, 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 dun. you play Ring Around the Rosie. You 100%. might be able to squeeze this out. I focus after. I would focus after uh, auto thrusters for a boost. Or oh, I'd get really cheeky and uh, evade auto thrusters for a boost. Now, yeah, be smart. Focus. Because he probably has Bullseye for another focus anyways. Nope. I'm bad. I'm so bad at this game. Uh, I'm Sinterfell's wrong. getting sleepy. I'm the worst. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Suter foul. Oh, there you go. He's up. He's perked up He's a bit. He's awake. He's perked up a bit. He's right. Ooh, you know what? Did he talent roll? Please tell me he talent rolled. Talent roll? Yeah, the tie. The tie. No. 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 I think. They, oh. See, look, look at the. It's funny. Vader is uh, running. 24. Vader's running interference. Yeah. <laughs> for for Sunterfell. Sunterfell's taking out Lulo, Lulo who's also dangling while Sunterfell, Vader's yeah. running interference yeah. for Poe. It's just like yeah, he's like a is, he's like a offensive tackle. This is a very well played <laughs> match by both players. Very well played match by both players. Is that bump? He's going for the block. He's using force. Whoa. Man, Brett's flying really well with his Vader. Like flying him like a low but, PS so blocker. What, what is that? That's anticipating a hard. That's anticipating the BB-8 barrel oh. roll into the one bank. This this game has been a lot of moves on counter moves on counter moves. Uh, again, hats off. You you two guys have been doing a that great is a good job. Good game, man. Like I don't. I mean, I, I don't know if we'll see a lot of these ace on ace lists. Uh, today, I think it's gonna maybe? get interesting. Like I said, there's so much like. High ship count, low initiative right. lists out there right now because there's just so many good platforms with the price adjustments that are like carried on the just their stat lines. Mm -hmm. Again, the interceptor at the the in the uh, alpha squad at 34 points, a three 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 ship. Sorry, zero three three. What are you even trying to say? Three attack dice and three hull. Right. And three evade dice at 34 points is insane. That, that ship can boost and barrel roll, and it can block, and it can do range one damage. Like I'm in love with that ship. Right. I mean, I've always loved the Interceptors, but the range one, like the PS1 Interceptors are so good in this edition. And I think people are sleeping on them. Th that's what I was going to bring, actually, if I was uh, going to play. I was going to run Sunerfell, two Alphas, and then mm -hmm. two Strikers. Oh, Lulu dies. Oh. She dead. He dead. dead, dead Sorry, dead. he dead. Can't heroic with that, that one result. I mean, that's some effective body blocking, running interference there. Yep. He's, he's divided and conquered. He's isolated both of Steven's ships. Yeah. Taking out Lulo, so now he's going to try to trap Poe in some arcs. What did I say at the beginning of this match? Sunafel is always the right choice. Always. Especially if you fly him well like Brett has been. Right. Do, do, do. Sunterfell. And now we go lazily two bank, come around and challenge Poe next round. Do, 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 do. I'm going to have that stuck in my head all goddamn day now. I love Sunterfell. Man, I don't know. Every time I play Sunterfell, he just gets smeared it's, at range well, three yeah, behind a rock. But that's just, the thing. You have to uh, you have to embrace the fact that he's just going to die. You'll do everything right. You'll do everything. You'll be flying along. It's yep. like black ice. You're driving around. You're doing great. No shit. You're in a ditch. It just happens. It happens. I just can't. I can't. My heart can't take it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Especially at a, a tournament, you got to survive six rounds with yeah. that? I mean, come on. Yeah. Well, again, he's only 52 points. He's the he's the most expendable ship in your list. That's, I, I, I just love find Brett's it fascinating list. now in the days of 2.0. You're taking a naked Sunter fell. I mean, right? What does this world come to? I love it. I absolutely <laughs> love it. He's not worth putting points on. Like, there's no need to put points. Why would you put him at nade? Well, I sometimes give him shield upgrade if I have the points, just for that extra crit crit protection. So. Brett's has def Brett has definitely turned the tables here on Steven. Now he's sitting quite comfortably. Three health Vader with full force is still very, well, very happy. Now he's got Vader behind him. Oh, yeah. He's got Vader and Sunerfell yeah. uh, choking it's, it's, his pose. It's a pincer. Absolutely. Yeah, Vader's going to do a two-turn two target lock. Oh, he's already got the target lock. He's fine. Vader's just going to two-turn and focus, not even spend force. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Playing cautious. No need. He's going to... Continue to use Soons as his bait as opposed to using him as an aggressor. Well, now you're down to one ship. I mean, 
the roles have kind of switched here. Now, now Vader's gonna go on the offensive. I wonder what, I wonder what Steven's doing here. Um, now, wouldn't it be crazy if he did a Talon roll? Yeah, he might actually BB-8 boost, then do a Talon roll. Nope, just gonna chase Soons. Would you boost into HLC, perhaps? Without mod? Well, you could boost and then push for a target lock. Oh, that's a good point, Jeff Wilder. Jeff Wilder, good point. You're right. The two bank ship left with Soonerfell was less enticing positionally. He would have had to have boosted a barrel roll. No, you're right. Good call. BB8. Oh, no, is that just a boost? That's a boost, I think. And now you target lock. Push target lock. Push you target get the lock. HLC now? Absolutely. Oh, he's going to push for a focus. I guess, statistically speaking, it's the same. I don't know. I don't know numbers. I think he wants the... I think he just doesn't want to switch his target lock off there and instead just get the shot here. That makes sense. He's keeping. He's hedging his yeah, bets. Yeah, because he, he's, he's also, uh, like, it's a long-term thing, right? Yeah. Because no, no, again, like I said, as I keep saying, it, Steven is a very yep. patient player. He's keeping his lock on Vader. Mathematically speaking, yes, he's assuming that it's the same. Sooner fell losing rain. Sometimes just expect Sunafel to die. Do everything right, and he still just dies. He's still alive. Oh, he's still alive, yeah. You know, one health sooner fell is still sooner fell. That's what I would say. But now I think he's just gonna like one one forward or two forward with bow. See, that's what I was saying with the HLC. Don't force it, but get it if you can get it, and then well, use it. I mean, as a, now what? What does Sunter do? I mean, I feel like if I was Steven, you just do one forward, cover. Uh, all the escape angles, right? Yes. This is where he's least least happy. I mean, he can three sloop that way if he wants to. I mean, he can hard one. Right. And then boost and then barrel roll and face right back at him. Uh, that's weird. I mean, he could do a lot of stuff, but it depends on what he's feeling like. Vader needs no, that's to start dumb. applying pressure Don't ever again. listen to me. Yeah, absolutely. Vader's got to come in with the hard two. But the problem is, no longer having access to engine upgrade, Vader is going to take time to get back in. He's not automatically getting back in. Hard one left. This has been, this has been a really interesting uh, back This has and been a corker so of a match. Yeah. Started out with a very cagey initial approach. And then uh, some really good body blocking by both uh, Steven and Brett. I really liked I really liked the way he was using Vader to isolate. Oh, his, Poe and he was amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Sinter finished off uh, Absolutely. Lulo. And he didn't panic after he lost his whisper. He still knew he was in great position because it was two ships versus two ships. Yep. He was confident in the fact that he had two I6s versus one I5. Um, he's been play and he's still playing very, very well. I'm very interested to see what he's going to do with the Sooner Fell. Um, I mean, if I'm Poich, one forward. One forward, focus. That's it. Maybe push for a barrel roll if you want to. Arc dodge Vader. Mm -hmm. Vader's going to be hard-pressed to, to get a lock on him. Or to get a shot on him. Oh, doing a hard two that way. This is a case for Afterburners on Vader, says the 8-bit deity. You are not incorrect, especially with them coming down two points, down to six now. You, you think maybe here he was trying to anticipate uh, Poe perhaps turning that way to chase? Because he can't BB-8 this way because the rock's right there, right? Or am I wrong about that? So th this this uh, avenue of escape seems better for... Yeah, Brian. but that's why if Poe went 1-4, he's just going to boost. Yeah, I mean, one forward is the safest maneuver for him there. It's the easiest maneuver to do. He's got, I mean, he could, well, you know what? There are shenanigans. He could BB-8 yep. here, one bank. Right, but that would that would require him anticipating this maneuver here. Well, who's to say he didn't anticipate it? But the, Oh, the, yeah, he got you go. juked. So he then, got but, the, but you know what? That's the nice thing yeah. about being having initiative. You don't have to make all the calls. Sometimes yeah, you can be you, like, you know you what? Know, I fucked up. I'm done. Yeah, because when you when you're the one uh, when you're the one that has to go first, yeah, you're. I mean, you're gonna have perfect knowledge of where everything is when you move first, and then yep. it's on your opponent to call you correctly. Yep. Move your tokens. Triggered. Steven, move your tokens. Steven, move your tokens. So Brett's winning, though, so he also doesn't need to rush engagement, as people are pointing mm -hmm. out. So Steven's got to come around and get a half points on Vader. Uh, I don't know if he knows that or not. Um, well, all, all, uh, all Steven needs to do is get one more damage on Vader, right? Yeah. Don't forget, three of eight dice, yep. focus token, force. That's easier said than done. With only one attack, it's still difficult to get damage through he, on he Vader. He still does have the target lock on Vader, so he can get yes. a fully modded shot. Yes, so he needs um, an out, he needs uh he needs something like that. Yep. 
Sunafel hard to uh, downboard, obviously. Meanwhile, what? St uh, Brett needs to deal three more damage to Poe to well, Brett's get winning. half points on him? Well, yeah, but Brett's no, winning right now. I'm just thinking, like, because it's, it's likely that uh, Steven can get one more damage on Vader before the, the round is over. So I'm just thinking what Brett needs to do to stay ahead on points. Keep Vader safe. Just yep. bug him out. Run. You're winning. Why engage? It's not necessarily, yeah, that's 100% that's the right call. It's not necessarily the most fun call, but it's right. the right call. But, I mean, let's not forget Steven still has black one well, title. Well, especially if, you, if, you're, uh, if you're banking on Steven playing uh, cautious and conservative like you say. But this is the time where he might not decide to be. He might go hard three, black one title, hard three. And he's around. Both these players got to know that there's not a lot of time left to... Uh, yeah, uh, table judge Cam's been keeping on. them apprised of the situation when it comes to time. They're, yep. they're definitely getting the information they need to keep going. Agree, Jeff Wilder. It's very difficult for uh, to run for 15 minutes with black one. But let's see what Steven does. Hard two? Yeah. You think a boost gets him in arc of Vader? I think so. Um, so yeah. here comes BBS. It's just straight up boost. So he didn't even need to do the black one. He can just do that instead. Yeah. Focus. So he's going to push the limit. That's why you move your tokens. <laughs> That's why you move your tokens. So you don't forget that you have locks. But that's through a rock. Uh, I'm not too worried about this if I'm Brett. You never know. I assume, well, yeah. Oh, it's range two. Yeah, two through the rock. Focus. Okay. Yeah, you definitely focus for three. That's good. Keeps the target lock, too. Ooh, uh, he's going to focus and spend damage. the hate and take okay, the one. That's well, half points. Yeah, there's the half points. So Brett needed to just not roll not good there. He needed just average dice, and he should have been able to avoid that. But unfortunately, he did not get them. So now the bonus is now back on him to get into the game. Man, this has been back and forth, back and forth, round by round. Top showing by both our players today. Thank you guys very much if you watch this back. You're playing amazing. Giving us a hell of a match. What do you do now as Vader? I mean, well, that's the problem for do, Brett. He do a K turn. See the thing: if Steven knows that he's winning, he won forwards and just yep, just whatever. Well, yeah, because then you trap your, <clears throat> you've got uh, Sunter in your arc again. Yep. Or if uh, Brett Talon rolls, you're still kind of projecting your art the right direction. So now Brett, do, sorry, Steven no longer needs to to choose. He waits for whichever shot is given to him. As long as he's stress cleared, he can right. always push for his target lock focus. Focus I, boost I, for auto I thrusters. Yeah, this is exactly what you do too. And I think he has to talent roll elevator. Right. I would have thought for sure. Uh, a hard two? No, I, I would have thought he was, like, as someone mentioned in the chat, you need to bring both guns to bear in the same turn. Absolutely. So Vader's uh, talent rolling here. Yeah, Probably so, a two talent. So I, I would oh, have 4K. thought he would have done that with Soontir and then waited for Vader to turn around and re-engage. But now... Um, Depending on how far Steven moves, he might not get a shot with Vader. Is that a bank? Two bank. Or no, one forward. One yeah. forward, clear stress. There's no, there's no other reason to do that. You focus, you've got bullseye on Soonerfell, you move target lock and just HLC him. Yeah, for That's sure. It. Push for go. the focus. That's all an easier you kill. You just need one damage. I mean, all, all Sunterfell has is one focus And Sunterfell does not have bullseye, so he's got the one focus. Yep. And he pushed the limit for the, for the focus token as well as the target yep. lock. So, so now Sunterfell needs to roll like a god, which he just did. Okay. Excellent. And ooh, shitty. So let's see. If he doesn't spend the, the focus token here, he'll take. He took all of it. Well, yeah. I mean, You have to. He's gonna, he needs to win. Kill. Yep. He's got to win. Half points on Poe. He can kill, he can kill Sunterfell yep. this round and win the game. Oh, there we go. Focus I, for four. That's it, right? Uh, that's a dead sooner fell, no matter what he does. Yep. So there's one. So Poe's still sitting on three hull. And look at how close this game is. So we're just going to let them know that that's not time in their round, obviously. So now we're down to 1v1. Steven has initiative. One BB-8 charge left. Still has black one title. Oh, this is tough for Brett now because even if he sets up the perfect maneuver, Steven can, can just GTFO with black one. 
Steven's been mad. This is the end game that Steven wanted. He wanted at least one BB-8 right. resource. Yeah, he still someone in the chat mentioned, Poe, just, if it comes down to a 1v1, I mean, what can uh, Brett yeah. do? Yeah, yeah, this is this is tough. And I mean, Brett's been flying like a champ. He didn't have much choice. He had to get Sunafell into the match. Like, there was no, there's not much he could have done. He was stressed, he had to get in there. So what do you think? Now it just comes down to, okay, this is one well, let's bank. just face off and uh, yeah. I hope my dice are hotter than yours. No, again, he's just gonna go back to being cautious. <laughs> <laughs> You're winning. What? Yep. Listen, every single uh, this turn. This must be so frustrating. Every single turn For sure. when I would have done the stupid thing, Steve yep. has done the right thing, mm -hmm. and that's why he's winning against a very good opponent who's been playing an excellent match against him. Don't rush it. Wait for the right moment. He's going to target lock, and that's it. D move those <laughs> bloody tokens, Steven. I am going to DDoS Yasby if you don't move those damn tokens. <laughs> Thank you, Cam. Well, why you got to punish everyone else for what Steven <laughs> sins? I don't even know how to DDoS. It's just a thing that, that's a term that the kids say. on. I don't know. Right. We're old men. What do you think of a Talon roll here on st by Steven? Which you think what? That way, facing that no, direction. No. I actually, I'm not sure if Brett's gonna be bear it here or here. Looks like yeah, he's going right. He's okay. going right to get in behind Poe. Yeah, that's a good choice. Uh, is that a Talon? Did he Talon? Oh, looks like he it. Talon. Ooh. That was nice. Oh, are we gonna see a double Talon roll? <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna slam. Black one slam. Oh, is, and then he's going to do a hard two, maybe? And then no, boost? that's his maneuver. He's going to use his black one title to now slam. Oh, okay. And just, and yeah, see, even Brett was thinking that he just said on the microphone. Oh, I know. I thought yeah, he, he was going to talon gonna roll this way and BB-8 well. to go at him like yeah. a, and settle it like men. Nope, Steven Smart. Play cautious. Play cautious. And then he's going to use the last BB-8 charge to get into a good position. You slimy dog, you. Oh, no, I'm sorry. He took the stress instead of the ion yep. to take an action. So he actually still has a BBA charge left. Yep. Because black one gives you the ion unless yep. you take a stress, at which point you get your action back. And then I think he used Poe's ability. Yeah, he Man. Did, he did use the black one there, Man. right? Man, Poe is good. Of course, I could take that Poe and I'd lose him on turn two. I, okay, X-Wing shouldn't be able to do this. I'm sorry. I know, but based on, <laughs> but based, like, one of the few redeeming factors uh, of the new trilogy is Poe and seeing him fly. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've been used, used for so long, used to Remember, seeing these X-Wings as janky, like, These are the T-70s. These I are know. the T-70s. I have to admit, uh, the way they've, the flavor text and the way they wrote, the way right. they've written Black One to give you the ion like it happened in that really much... Yeah. I'm not going to say anything about that movie because I don't want to start right. a war in the chat. Oh, it looks like he did actually spend a BB-8 uh, charge. So oh, he spent the last one. So okay. Travis, he's all out of BB-8 charges then? Okay. Okay, my bad. Exactly. As well, they're saying, Poe can only really do that once and he's done. It's a one and done. So he is still being chased by Man, an angry, how do you catch Lord him? of the Sith. How do you catch him? Uh, I wish you had engine upgrade. Like, that's it. Wish you had a hard one, which the Tide Vance desperately right? needs. I mean, Wish you had an engine upgrade, which the Tide oh, Vance desperately needs. Like now, Steve, Steve you can just go this way, yep. you can just go this way. Uh, yep. No, I know yeah, it's definitely... I, I, don't, I don't think uh, Tide Vance is fast enough to catch up to... It's uh, not. The, the, no. the advanced, I unfortunately don't think they did enough to change it in 2.0. Right. The one forward was amazing. The talent roll was amazing. But it needed a one hard. It's got terrible stress clearing maneuvers, yep. or it needed a one hard, or... Or it should have just gotten three attack dice natively, because like you can't use the low initiative ones. Right. You can't use anybody who is invader. I, and I love the tie advance. I miss Cole's set. I know he's still technically in the game, but well, okay. Death Rain's blog. Let me. I don't wish the engine upgrade was back on any ship again. I'm just saying, that's what you do if you're in that situation. Yeah. You wish you had an engine upgrade. I mean, he still has the force. That's a great maneuver. He'll barrel roll. Mm -hmm. You'll use the force to barrel roll there, and he'll have that lane available to him. And then he can still, yeah, it's still tough because he just five straights. Right. Now, I mean. Yeah, Steven is absolutely not slow playing at all. He's not yeah, burning he, any he's time. He's doing his moves in a timely manner, but, yeah. like, this is the smart play because yeah. 
if Vader gets one damage on Poe, all of a sudden he's winning. Yeah. Because of the half damage rule. Yeah, so why is he going to risk it? Yeah. I mean, th this is the smart play. I mean, as long as you make your moves in a timely manner, this now you cannot be faulted for making however, the smart However, now Steven's relying on dice. He's got a boost. Yeah, well, yeah. I. You have to boost, Steven. Got a got a boost, sir. You got a boost. 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 Oh, you're right. No, sorry, my mistake. He does have half half on uh he does have half on Poe already. So Steven's still winning. He was always going to boost there. I think he was just wasn't sure if whether or not he'd be able to pull an arc off of it or not. Right. But yeah. Yeah, now he just five straights. And see there, Brett did the right call, did that one bank, he did the barrel roll, but you know. He, again, it doesn't have a hard one. It's got a hard two, so he can't. He's got a talon roll probably this way and try to head him yeah. off. I that's mean, he, he kind of got turns. himself into an awkward position between these two rocks here. I know, but that's again, that's the problem. That I, I was just, I don't know. Yeah. I wish Ty Advance had a hard one. I know all ships can't have all things. Mm -hmm. I just like the hard. I just like Ty Advance. Four straight boost, no five straight on the weakest high So, sorry. Yeah, four K was the better call then. See, I thought he might do the talent left as well, but he's opted to give himself option on both lanes. So the 4K, and then he can four straight next turn. Oh, he, he closed the foils. Yeah. Oh, you, oh. you sly oh. dog, you. You hurtful, mean person. He teased the engagement and then yeah. ran away. Yeah, he made the right call again. He made the right call. And mad... Mad props to Brett. He's still trying to play the game. He's trying to force the engagement. He's not giving up. Yep. He's playing an, He's playing his ass all, off. All he needs is just cat, catch him. Catch him once. Target lock, focus. Feel the money. I mean, the T70 only has two evade dice. It can blank out, right? Mm -hmm. We've seen blanks. Like, Steven hasn't I mean, rolled particularly po, well. Poe does have defense. heroic, though. So, I mean, he'd have to do a little bit of work. But That's true. That's still. true. I need, I need, it's freezing over here, by the way. I don't know. Can you guys tell? I'm going to put my jacket back oh, on yeah, in a second. I yeah, I'm gonna need that. Or that I'm gonna have to start I'm drinking to warm glad myself it's up. It's kind of cool in here because if it was any warmer, I, I might have to start drinking to warm myself <laughs> up. Wait, us Canadians never drink when we uh, play X-wing. Eight bit DD thing. He thinks if he takes this list, he's flying afterburners on Vader. Uh, you got to give something up, otherwise you don't have much of a bid. W yeah. I mean, honestly, I think maybe I know Fifth Brother's good, but like, just drop Whisper down to 59. Be done with it, and then you get afterburners on Vader. Yeah, 76 point isn't exactly expensive. Uh, yes, yes, you did, Jeff. He, uh, Sorry, imagine he did go over the rock to keep the pressure on, and yep. he did unfortunately roll a damage. That's why he's at two, at one hull. Because Brett's still flying his ass off to keep this a game. He's not waiting, but I mean, there's nothing that Steven has to worry about. He just puts in a three forward or a three bank. He's fine. Uh, Mike Beard, I don't know. I don't, think, I don't think you ever want to drop FCS on Vader. I mean, I know he can action all the time, but that... Being able to have a focus for defense and a FCS for offense is enticing for me. I think personally, I drop I drop uh, fifth brother off of Whisper and just use two points. You know, you gain back two points into your bid that way. Personally, I mean, fifth brother was good though. Like, I, don't get me wrong, fifth brother that force token kept kept Whisper in the game a little bit longer for Brett. You think Brett has one last chance if he does five straight here? He absolutely does. He has four forward because he got a clear stroke. Actually, no, the problem is the tie SF, the, the tie, um, well, he's got his target lock. No, he doesn't have a target lock. He can't because clearing stress on a tie right. in advance is terrible. Two forward is all it is, or one banks. It's garbage. And Steven probably knows that for sure. That's why he's keeping his distance the way he is. Yeah, I mean, he could literally just 4-4 four forward with his tie SF, with his um, C-70. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, I'm making bad, I'm saying the wrong ship names over and over again because I'm freezing. Machina Machinator Poe uh, uses black one a few turns ago. He's all out of the fancy maneuvering yeah, stuff. Yeah, Poe's got no more tricks except for push the limit. Uh, also, we, he, he also doesn't have a BBA charge anymore. I like it. Brett's saying, you know what? Right Who needs actions when I got the force, yo? Come at me. That well, is yeah, the right you, call. You could squeeze in one more uh, round after this. That was 100% the right call in. from Brett. That's yeah. the right call for Brett. He gets his Vader in position. Yep. Oh, caught him. He's going to get a shot this turn? Mm. No, no. 
Does he? Yeah, he will because he's going to be being. No, if he if he uh, boosts forward, I think he dodges the R. No, no. The bank boost still gives him. Actually, the bank boost might fail. I think he's got a target. He's got a focus. He's going to attempt a boost, as you said. Oh, he does clear. You salty dog. You salty dog. That's not a shot, is it? No, no. it clears. And now he's stressed. He can't even do a K-turn or a talent roll. He doesn't I need to. I think that's it. He doesn't need to. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. My hat's already off, but metaphorically, my hat is off to both these two players. Oh, Thank man. you for giving us a stomper of a match.